Welcome everyone. Welcome to our beautiful time together. We are having a very special moment here prepared for you with a very unique transmission of the energies of unity, of oneness, divine grace, and so much more that is yet to be discovered. I'm Donia Morris. And I'm joined by my dear friends, Louisa Alftern and Tim Wild. Welcome, Tim. Hello, Donnie. Very, very happy to be here with you once again. Thank you, my friend. And welcome, Louisa. Thank you so much, Donnie. Hi, everyone. So happy to be here sharing this new energy with the new scarf light of one. Yeah, Absolutely. so we have co-created something very magical once again and uh, two things will happen today first we're going to take you on a very beautiful transmission of energy we're going to talk a little bit about that in just a moment and then we also will reveal the next beautiful energy scarf that came through to support these really important and uh, sometimes challenging times that we're in right now to support our spiritual path with this really new beautiful energy scarf that we call light of oneness. And so perhaps we could all talk a little bit about where we are at right now and what does it mean to come back into unity into oneness at this time on earth. Uh, Tim, would you like to tune in? Absolutely, Donnie. Thank you. Unity, oneness. It is one of the biggest topics on our ascension pathway at this present moment in time. We have left a, a school that created division for the purpose of our learning for our separation, for our separation from one another and from the separation of source. And we have done so much work, so much work since the cosmic moment. Last year, 2023, was a continual activation from the minute that we stepped through the solstice gateway into 2023, all through the year, so much incredible so many incredible things happened the activations the frequency changes the opening of the higher heart all pertaining to a forward flow that we are now experienced experiencing together where this huge unified field light field of awakened souls on planet earth that is being joined by so many others like like little golden lights popping awake all around the world to come into a state of unity and the year that we are expecting ahead of us is based upon our personal vibration the unity and the oneness that we feel within being projected out into the field collectively so our personal vibration how we are focused how we are holding this energy is so important at the moment and the energies that we are collectively bringing through, Donnie Lavisa and I, are really focused on the souls that are also stepping forwards to assist us with this. Mm. Thank you so much. And uh, Lovisa, please join us in this talk about yeah. unity and oneness. And it really seems to be more and more important in this time on Earth, doesn't it? Definitely. So last year, 2020 through, 2020, 2023, it came through last year, 2023, really strongly this theme of unity and oneness. And uh, with the higher heart opening for all of humanity at the Lion's Gate, 8-8 eight, eight there, really building up to that all through the year beforehand. And um, yeah, the violet flame of the one true heart that came through then as, as well. So it's really that big higher heart awakening last year. So now we can really build more on that. So the oneness and unity theme seems to come through with everything that I work with at the moment. 
So it was really beautiful when it was around the summer. I remember that uh, this idea was really born for this scarf and with these energies of, of, of oneness and unity coming through. So very excited to be sharing these energies with everyone today. Absolutely. Thank you, Louisa. Yeah, so people are getting a little curious now, I guess, about what we're talking about, the new scarf, <laughs> Light of Oneness. We will ask you, maybe, yeah, we can show you what we're wearing right now, but we still ask you to just be a little patient. We really would like to do the meditation and transmission with you first and uh, transmit to you some beautiful energy codes that um, will be important to pick up for the next few months and to work with. And uh, yeah, so during this meditation, we will also share the screen and you will see the light of oneness energy design that we've co-created, which holds quite a lot of light. And um, that will be our treat for you to bathe and enjoy these energies. Um, I just wanted to quickly share that um, well, the last few months have been rather intense for many people, also for myself. And I just came back from a long time in Thailand, a very, very warm place. <laughs> <laughs> very different than the, the Nordic uh, areas right now. So um, I went to this really special temple there. It's like a huge hall with a giant, pure golden Buddha. And I was sitting there and the monks, there were maybe 20 monks chanting. And I was sitting down there and it was so powerful. I was like tears coming down. I was like, oh my God, what's happening here, you know? I had this really tough three months um, and this was kind of like cleansing and purifying and then I was sitting down there in the temple and it just finally was all done and I was just so moved and the message that came through was that you are sacred, everything is sacred and this is something I would like to um, pass on that, you know, we forget that, um, well, we think we're human, but we're so much more, <laughs> really. And that experience of being a divine human being, having a divine spirit inside of us, that's something we would like to transmit to you also through our meditation, through our transmission that we're embarked today. And that's probably the most important that you hopefully take away from today that you have a spark of divine energy inside of you and you are sacred and uh, whatever else is going on in your life you can lift up and you can transform it with a new perspective with a new light maybe with the light of oneness and yeah this will be all good so let's jump into our meditation may i mention also that because yeah. i'm feeling them very strongly the two main guides that are coming through here with this uh, meditation as well for us that we have odin but i want to call him the divine all father now as well and we have the divine grandmother a, a sami wise elder uh who are holding this energy very beautifully together in unity and, and oneness co-creation so just by mentioning their their names. Thank you. Okay, everyone, when you're ready, just close your eyes, take a deep breath. Now our time together, this beautiful transmission starts with gentle breath in and out now is your time be fully present in the sacred moment if there's any noise from your environment it will not bother you and will become a perfect part of this energy transmission 
and we open sacred space to bless and to protect our inner journey together. We call in the Divine Mother, the one who always loves and holds us. Come to the sacred space and time. And we call in the Divine Father, the one who shines his light always on our path. Come to the sacred space and time. We call in the energies of the four directions, the five elements. The ascended masters are coming in, all the angels, power animals, our brothers and sisters from the stars, and all our spiritual guides, everyone, please join us. Join us on this inner journey to connect with oneness, with unity, with divine grace, connect with our true self, receive guidance and blessings from Odin and the Sami Divine Grandmother. May we receive for our highest good and for those around us. So be it. Ayaya. Now focus inwards on your breath. Breathing in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Really take that beautiful air into your lungs. Landing fully in your body here and now, relaxing more and more with each out breath. One more long deep breath in and out. You are fully present in this moment. Feel Mother Earth beneath you and how threads of light from her are reaching up through the ground, connecting lovingly with your roots of light beneath you. They're moving up through your energy fields. Just continue to breathe, take another few deep breaths at this connection. This deep, deep grounding into Mother Earth, which is now taking place. Gaia holds you and she supports you. Now feel yourself standing on the shoreline of a snowy winter lake. In front of you is the snow covered ice of the lake and behind you and all around the lake there is a majestic snow clad evergreen Nordic forest. You are standing at Lake Storsjön, the Great Lake, in Jämtland, Sápmi, in northern Sweden. It is nighttime, and the starry sky is breathtakingly beautiful. Take another few long, deep breaths of this cool, fresh winter air into your lungs now. As you connect with the starlight and the sky itself above you. The snow of the lake is amplifying this starlight, reflecting it back at you from the ground as well, enhanced with the purifying energies of millions and billions of snow crystals. Breathe this starlight into all of your bodies and feels now. A path is laid out before you, lit by torches, leading out under the eyes of the lake. You feel a presence beside you and see beloved All Father Odin standing there, smiling warmly and welcoming you to start walking this path together with him. You feel completely safe with him, with Odin, 
and as you walk beside him side by side, feel how keys and codes of light within your bodies and fields start to activate and light up as you connect with his energy more and more with each step. Please accept any message or gift that Odin has for you now. You are so beautifully held in a golden sphere of his powerful light. This golden sphere of powerful light, sparkling golden rooms are everywhere. And as you walk together on the snowy ice of the lake, you receive. And you thank Odin for his gift to you. Once again, he smiles warmly in return and he nods his head gently in recognition of your gratitude. Odin then directs your attention to where you are heading and you see a circle of torches upon the ice coming closer and closer as you keep walking towards them. Take a moment to tune in. Can you hear the drumming and the chanting? There are people awaiting you there. Perhaps you can feel the stirring in your heart in response to the sounds coming towards you. Just feel into this for a few moments now. The music you hear is opening your heart and your higher heart wider than before, lighting it up, activating the beautiful and powerful energy of oneness that resides within it. As you reach the group of people in the circle of light out here on the ice of Lake Solsjön, a female Sami elder steps forward to greet you. This is the Divine Grandmother, who appears as a shaman, or noidi, as the shamans are called in Sami tradition. She smiles her greeting to you and looks you straight into your eyes and into your heart. You meet her gaze and you find that it's filled with starlight. The Divine Grandmother holds the light and wisdom of the cosmos in her loving eyes. Just breathe deeply and allow all of the starlight keys and codes to flow into you and activate corresponding keys and codes within your bodies and fields now for a few breaths. Breathing in, breathing out. Please accept any gift or message that the Divine Grandmother has for you now. You're so beautifully held in silver white sphere of her powerful light, sparkling with starlight on this snowy winter lake. you receive her message now. Once again, take note of the response in your heart and especially in your higher heart. It's like your higher heart is being filled up with twinkling stars as well and a beautiful sense of peace, stillness and togetherness of deep connection with all of creation a sense of oneness and unconditional love for all that is. Just breathe this feeling and this energy out into all of your bodies and fields now for a few more breaths. 
ana iti ki a sono imhe awahe i aitu ki so ki ki awa ine awa aya so 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 ka ihe ana titi ki a awo sehim awo sehim aya i awo sehim aya i taki asoi saun Odi now steps forward as well, lovingly greeting the Divine Grandmother that he knows so well. You can feel the powerful energy in between them. The sacred balance of Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine energies. Energies of understanding, unconditional acceptance and love complete trust, forgiveness, and divine grace, wholeness, unity, and oneness. Odin and the Divine Grandmother come to stand now on either side of you. Feel how you are lovingly and powerfully held in the energy of balance, harmony, and oneness. Their two spheres of silver white and gold are meeting and overlapping each other, with you in the middle. Take a few moments now to fully land in this energy, breathing in and out. Andrian Sindiosi, Sandrian, Sandrian Neon. Now the other souls gathered out here on the ice come to stand in a circle around you. Odin and the Sami Elder and their chanting intensifies. They all take each other's hands and as they do you can feel a powerful surge of energy moving from their hearts into yours like an electrical surge communicating directly with your heart and your higher heart now breathe deeply as this activation takes place as from deep within your higher heart a beautiful light begins to shine. This is your personal gateway to the one true heart and to the light shining through. Spreading outwards firstly into your body and your aura, then building in size, moving out further until it encompasses the whole group of souls gathered here on the ice. This is the light of oneness. Allow a few moments now to feel into the quality and the vibration of this light. This bright diamond sparkling white light with shimmering rainbow hues. The light of oneness. Feel how you are indeed one with Odin and the Sami Elder. With all of the souls in a circle around you, with the snow, the ice and the lake beneath you, the forest all around, and the sky and the stars above. Held within the two inner spheres of golden and silver white light by Odin and the Divine Grandmother and the outer sphere of the light of oneness originating from the center of your own higher heart. 
you are guided to focus upwards into the starry sky now. As you do so, feel how a powerful beam of light emanating from your heart center shoots straight up into the sky, up, up, up into the heavens above. Breathe and relax as this gateway of light activates. In response to your heart light, a beam of divine light starts to stream down from the heavens, connecting with your heart and enveloping the whole earth in its radiant glow. Feel this light permeating all of your bodies and fields now physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, bringing with it divine grace, purity, and wholeness. Just keep breathing this light in through your higher heart and out into your bodies and fields. Through this light, you can feel and experience the interconnectedness of all beings on earth and beyond, sensing the vast web of life that connects us all. Feel the unity and the oneness at the core of our existence, transcending time and space. As you continue to breathe deeply, feel starlight coats showering upon down you, supporting your journey towards harmony, balance and unity. Feel these coats infusing your being with wisdom and guidance, illuminating each step you take towards the new golden age. Maybe you can feel the light from specific stars connecting with you now. Take your soul, that your soul holds a special connection through time and space. And maybe beings from these stars are coming in with this light, making themselves known to you now. Showering you with love, so happy to be reconnecting with you at this time. So please accept any messages and gifts that they have for you at this time. As you continue to feel the starlight being showered down upon you by the powerful beam of light from the heavens. You might notice that the tone and the intensity of the chanting and the drumming around you is once again shifting in its character and intensity. Can you perceive or hear that there are new voices adding their unique tone and their frequencies. Can you? You gaze around you and find that the circle, the inner circle of what appears to be Norse and Sami masters have been joined by an outer circle with representatives from tribes and peoples from other parts of the earth. Have a look and see which tribes you can see represented here and now. You will hold connections to these tribes and your soul vibration has invited them in. The 
just as the beautiful Sami people of northern Scandinavia who suffered many injustices at the hands of the newcomers who came in and claimed the land when they already lived there in harmony with Mother Earth and with all of nature for centuries. The tribes who have now gathered here have been affected in one way or another of the same type of injustice and imbalance. Of ignorance and separation, whether as victims or perpetrators. But just as you felt Odin and the wise Sami elder rising above the past injustices to new and higher ground, so too have those that have been called here by your heart right now. They have come to do the same. Focus inwards on the inner source of the light of oneness within your higher heart now. All we need is the power of now. Widen the sphere of this light to encompass also the second outer circle of souls now present here on the ice of Lake Storsjön tonight. As this happens, the intensity of the chanting and drumming grows even more. As the sphere has reached its new size, you can hear gentle sobs of sadness and relief as all of the trapped emotions of generations past are released to the surface to be transmuted in the light of oneness. All of the memories holding the people trapped in the old stories, in that which was rather than what can be from this moment on. The light of oneness is gently but firmly harmonizing healing, transmuting, and setting free. Can you feel the energy of grace, forgiveness, and ancestral healing contained within these light codes to support humanity as we connect as one heart and return to unity? Now, focus your intention fully on the center of your heart for a moment. Once again, you notice how you are held by beloved All Father Odin and the Divine Grandmother Shaman in the two spheres of gold and silver white, meeting and merging in the center of these two circles with your heart at its core. Feel the beautiful balance in between them, supporting the mystical union of divine feminine and divine masculine energies within you, merging in perfect harmony. Take a few deep breaths as you fully become aware of this union and unity within you. Gently breathing in and out. Now, sense the presence at the core of your heart center of your pure divine essence, the purest expression of who you are. your divine spark, your soul signature. Breathe, connect deeper. As you allow this realization of your true self to expand and to radiate outward, you can feel how you become a bridge to unity and oneness, both within and without. Now, 
now this activation is complete. Odin calls you back with his voice and again smiles at you warmly as he speaks these words. The wise Sami shaman smiles too and again you are mesmerized by the magical starlight in her eyes. She takes your hands and she squeezes them in recognition and gratitude of the beautiful work that you have done here tonight. Never forget that what you do matters immensely, she whispers. You have such an important part to play, so always do it wholeheartedly, just as you have done here with us tonight. The two of them take a step back, Odin and the Divine Grandmother, and your eyes catch the magical dance of the northern lights across the sky. You all just stand together in appreciation of this beautiful and powerful display for a few moments. And even hear the crackling of them. Beautiful dance, a celestial dance on the sky of the northern lights. And you notice that there are cosmic dragons in all colors of the rainbow swirling within these northern lights. Please receive any keys and codes of cosmic wisdom that these dragons carry for you now. Suddenly you sense that there is also something moving underneath the ice of the lake beneath your feet. Odin smiles and invites you to bend down with him and touch the ice with your hands. As you do, you feel the energy of a vast dragon moving beneath you. This is the wise dragon of the Great Lake and Odin knows him so well. Feel the dragon connect with your heart to your heart now. Deeply thanking you for your service, sending you so much love and so much gratitude. Please receive any keys and codes of the wisdom of the earth flowing from his energy fields now directly into yours. It is soon time for you to leave this place, to return back into your body here and now. But before you do, you now have the opportunity to connect with some of the others who are present here on the ice with you tonight. So take a few moments to walk around and see who wants to come forward. And if they have any specific messages or gifts, for you. Some of those present simply wish to embrace you and thank you for your love and your light which brought them here tonight. Feel the love, feel the connection, Feel the light of oneness pulsating in between you all, from heart to heart to heart. Just breathe it in as you take a few more moments now in togetherness with all of those present. As you slowly come back from this meditation journey, you ground yourself into the present moment with 
each breath. Coming back fully grounded and centered. And when you are ready, take another deep breath and open your eyes. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you had a beautiful, beautiful transmission and energy experience. Quite a lot came through and we can talk a little bit about what has happened. And then we we'll, shall proceed to celebrate with you the birth of the Light of Oneness scarf and also reintroduce shortly the Asgard scarves which are also so important to be working with at this time that we felt that we wanted to bring everything together into unity and reintroduce certain energies to you again because they are needed they're timeless and we have from many of you already heard back how supportive these energy scarves are in your spiritual practice, in your daily life, in your work with your clients and so on. So we are bringing the good stuff back, but first let's uh, share a little bit about what came through. Well, maybe Louisa, you'd like to have a few words. I feel it was so, so beautiful out there on the ice i'm really feeling myself there as i i have been standing on that ice where these energies came in for the first time the the, the young odin and the divine grandmother i didn't know her name then but was struck by the all that starlight in her eyes um such beautiful guides and in together in unity they are yeah it's amazing their energy i feel so um yeah i'm just Taken by taken by the moment. <laughs> if you'd like to share something, Tim, please do. Absolutely. The biggest thing that came through for me was the willingness to collectively release and forgive and to move on from what has happened in the journey that we've had through the third dimension and the collective unity and the love that was held together by everybody. We're stepping forward, not as divided, but as a whole into the coming ascension process. So all of the souls that are standing behind us, literally cheering us on, which is such a wonderful feeling. And that that collective unity on the ice, that was amazing for me. So thank you. I do feel I will, I will add about the snow and the snow stars and all the millions and billions of them but together in a really, as, as a, this is the snow, but it's so many snow stars, one together, and how the snow and the snow stars, the ice, ice is really bringing in and anchoring into the physical, this, the purity, the oneness. So it's really beautiful, that aspect of the, of the water. And when you think about how every snow crystal, there infinite number of them how everyone is unique just like us but they come down in harmony they fall in oneness they create water when they melt and uh, yeah it's just something that we can learn from to come together to transform and move beyond our own limitations or ancestor karma or limited thinking, whatever it is, and move into what we call the new golden age. And Tim, you mentioned that, you know, it's this collective that more and more people waking up, coming together. And we all feel that this is, yeah, things are happening, really. It's a tangible move forward now. It's, this is, it's something that we spent maybe the first decade talking about in our in our kind of our separate groups and our workshops speculating upon wishing for and now we can actually see it happening 
there is a tangible, physical, visible movement of souls who are stepping up into their sovereignty, into their mastery, who are prepared to forgive and let go, to view the world around from the perspective of the heart rather than the perspective of the wounded ego. And that is so important as we move into this unity that we are not carrying the burdens of the third dimension. So it is a, it's going to be the most incredible opening and reconnection and stepping back into these energies again. It's something that I'm feeling personally very excited about. And support this uh, transformation to support this bridge to unity and energy that we've been talking about. We came together and developed a very beautiful and special energy scarf and uh, would like to shortly introduce it to everyone. So let's do that for a moment. And here it is, the Light of Oneness scarf with mm -hmm. the beautiful energy that we can receive, the bridge to unity, divine grace, and our true self. Now, when we talk about ascension and the new golden age, we all have to walk our own individual path, but we're also all walking together in the same direction. And for doing this, quote unquote, effectively, we need to connect with our true self, we need to connect with the unity energy, the unity of divine feminine, divine masculine energies within us. And so I'm really excited about this new scarf It's my new favorite energy guide friend to work with when I do my meditations or when I journey physically or spiritually. And this is really, really quite something that um, we're so grateful that came through really in uh, uh, relationship to the inspirations that already started to unfold last year. And um, I'll let Louisa add a little bit here as well. Mm. Yes, I'm, I'm uh, really feeling into the, the white that the, the main color really is the, the white. I'm again, feeling the snow in there, but the white light. And there are actually some snow crystals in the, in the design as well. You may be able to spot a little bit uh, if you look closely on the scarf. But um, yeah, can you spot them? <laughs> they are there. But um, yeah, really feeling this, the, the white energy and the oneness energy and how the white light contains all the colors of the rainbow, you know, that are refle reflected in there well as the snow. Um, yeah, it came through so strongly as the, the energy for this scarf. And I was really happy when Odin stepped forward with the, the Divine Grandmother to kind of hold the energy together for, for the scarves as representatives of you know, two peoples, two tribes, um, holding hands and, and being the kind of an example for all of the world, all the peoples of the world to, to do the same. And as you said, Donny, the that each snowflake or snow star is unique. Um, so are we, uh, all of us have our completely unique light energy soul signature. And how when we can see each other's uniqueness and how you know, when I add my energy to someone else is how we lift each other higher. Um, you know, that that old, um, I don't know what to call it, you know, the the like an imprint of, of division and separation, it's uh, completely gone. And um, you don't have to compare yourself to someone else and um, uh, in a, in any way judging or feeling you know how we're different and it's a bad thing but the complete opposite how we lift each other 
how our unique gifts, when we combine them, uh, really lift everything to a much higher level. That's what I'm feeling now. And we also calibrated the design to be like a compass, like the North Star, a compass to our true self and this bridge to unity to connect with our true self. And I really feel that the mostly white and then there are a little bit of pastel transparencies, everything really came together in a very, yeah, channeled, beautiful way that really feels excited that this can go out into the world from our heart to yours. And I uh, really look forward to see how these codes of starlight, of unity, of the harmony between the divine masculine and feminine, of ancestry healing, all that beautiful energy, how that will come into your life and merge with the things that are going on in your life to support and uplift the processes that you are personally embarking in and working with. And then we'll perhaps come all back together in some way or another to, to celebrate our divine light, to celebrate our unity and oneness. And uh, I know we'll be in the UK in September, and that will be very lovely to see many of you with your scarves and in your higher energy as well. Uh, will be a beautiful fest together. Now, we will also very shortly talk about the Asgard scarves, such as the Goddess Freya energy scarf. And I'll let Louisa share a little bit about Freya from her personal experience. Mm. Just want to comment on what you said about going to the UK. That's the three of us together are holding a a workshop there maybe a few who are listening don't know about that so that's what we're we're coming together in physical for the first time tim and donnie and i it's going to be amazing It'll be september um, next september this year in Poole, dorset in the uk that's something that's uh we're all with the three of us are very excited about and it's going to be hosted by jackie white so Watch this space for the information that is going to be coming forward about this workshop. Mm. So here you can see the goddess Freya Scar, which was the first, she was the first one to come through really asking us to do an Asgard collection or you know, to do. It was her scarf at first, and then this whole collection came to be. So goddess Freya and here, you can see me standing with the scarf on the King's Mounds, which is the portal, uh, a portal to the cosmic heart, but the, here in uh, Uppsala, where I live in old Uppsala, the heart of the North, very, very powerful portal to the cosmic heart and very connected to the higher heart energies. And uh, Goddess Freya really holds, she is a goddess of love, of passion, and beauty. So this scarf really holding those energies very strongly and really helping you to see the beauty within you and the beauty. So really look with eyes of beauty to see the beauty in everything and everyone that you look at. And really the self love is coming through strongly with her to see yourself, the beauty in you, your uniqueness, uh, your true, true light and beauty. And also passion, and that's to be really passionate, to, to with passion and, and, and joy and openness, move and led by your heart, uh, follow your heart to what you feel passionate about. Um, listen to your heart's guidance and move for, forward with passion. Yeah. And then we have the All Father Odin energy scarf. And maybe some of you already have some of those beautiful energy supportive friends. 
but maybe some of you are new, so that's why we are reintroducing them. And Al Father Odin really brings in the energy of self mastery, of wisdom, of manifestation, and so much more. But self mastery is a key word for all of us, really, who walk the ascension path. And he gives a hand or two with that, with a loving Divine Father energy, but also. For those of us who need a little push, there might be a little push as well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, really, it uh, feels like he is a good energy to work with for releasing some limitations, some karmic bonds, anything that's really holding us back to step to the next level. And in terms of wisdom, well, he's He's the uh, divine father energy, a way wise energy that we can connect with, helping you to connect with your inner wisdom as well, right? So we all have our own inner wisdom, our intuition. And when your inner channel opens up and you connect with the, the cosmic library or the universal wisdom, that's where Odin is also a helpful friend to help you to connect to that universal wisdom and go deeper. So it's really about then to gain the ability to co-create your life as you step forward and to not just, uh, you know, uh, have life happen to you, but be an active um, co-creator in your life journey. And this is where self-mastery, wisdom, and manifestation are the energies that we need and that Odin provides. And so this is his energy design. Quite a powerful portal itself and beautiful runes are there as well. And then we come to Yggdrasil. Thank you, Donny. This this scarf for me personally was an uh, the energy of it was an absolute adventure from the minute that I initially connected with it. That I was allocated the the honor of connecting in and and feeling the true divinity of the world tree. So Yggdrasil is the world tree, the tree in Norse mythology of the nine realms and all of the branches step out into the higher cosmos and into deep into the earth. And if you look at the frequency and the energy that the scarf carries, again, it, is, it pertains to the unity, to the oneness. And as you look at this particular design, as with all of the Asgard scars, they are an energy portal a friend to work with but this is a slice if you looked looked at the trunk of the tree from from top downwards this is the energy of the of Yggdrasil as the sap as the energy as the frequency as the light rises up through from the beautiful golden core to the to the the rainbows the outlines of the of the of the incredible the incredible kind of spring green the rainbow frequencies and the the kind of the reflective inner core of the light and on many occasions i've found myself regenerating within the center of that energy but also introducing me to that provided a complete journey a soul activation that took me into aspects of my previous existences that i maybe wasn't even comfortable to connect with at the time. So the connection was so powerful. It was truly an honor to be bringing that energy through. So for those of you that have not connected with the frequency of the energy of, and the energy of Yggdrasil, it's not for selective few, it's for everybody. So just allow yourself to tune in and feel it. Thank you very much. So many of you who have the scarf already know 
this is not just something beautiful to wear out when you have dinner. It is something that brings an energy to you and it is meant to be worked with. So those of you who are sensitive to energy, they will notice there's an immediate energy transfer and an alchemy that happens in your aura. And we can see here the before and after. So there's an immediate uplifting effect and an energy well energized really a system that we call the meridians they are energized this energy goes to your chakras which are then transformed or uplifted to a higher vibration so we can see in the little picture green is the neutral color really it's the center of the spectrum and then after we go to a purple turquoise a higher frequency and this has been done within uh, seven minutes for many of you it will be much faster and many of you have written and shared with us uh, the many ways that you use to scarf either personal meditation or when you lie down you use it like a bed cover to have a very restful recharge that way or when working with clients you place them on the different chakra or over the whole body to recharge and really have this energy cocoon for your clients so there are really quite a lot of ways to make use of these energies that we offer and so for those of you who feel called to work with one or more of these scars we really felt this was important timing to offer another pre-order window which means that all of the four scarves light of oneness goddess freya al father odin and yggdrasil tree of life all of these four scarves are now available for a special reduced pricing for a short amount of time until march 17 so you can find all the information that you need at the link below or in the description the link will be in the description of the video as well so have a look and if it calls you then this is an energy that we need to work with it's usually something that goes beyond logic sometimes uh, many spiritual things are not meant to be understood they're meant to be felt in the heart and so it is very similar with these energy scars. So if some people really come from a logical thing, then they will say, oh, why do I need it? <laughs> but if your heart feels like this is a beauty that you would like to receive, then it is really important to follow that calling because when I wear my scarf and I walk out, for example, into the, into the busy Tokyo uh, city, you know, hundreds and thousands of people at the station and you wear something that energetically protects you. For sensitive people like us, it's really important to have energy shield. So you don't pick up the lower vibrations that some people unconsciously project out. But also at the same time as you walk around and you have this energy shield and a higher vibration, you project out that frequency to those around you helping uplift a little bit perhaps your environment and the people around you to a better place and that's why i feel really really grateful um, that we can engage together in this um, personal but also global transformation to the new golden age yeah so thank you very much uh, tim and louisa for joining me on another journey and maybe you have some words to share so please go ahead it's been an, an absolute honor donnie thank you so much and uh that's i've i've i mean i've i've been a fan of your scarves for many many years and from the point where i was gifted so beautifully with one at a, an event that Lavisa you were hosting in Uppsala in, in 2018, I believe it was. And it became a part of my spiritual arsenal immediately. 
So it's not just been a cloak of protection. It's been a sleeping cocoon. It's been a companion that I use for every single um, physical and online workshop. So these these are these are wearable energetic portals. That's the that's the way that I I perceive them and I like to describe them. Just the same as that we reach out and we 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 rely upon crystals to assist us. This is also something that has an incredible, powerful, and you can also see the scientific results in the measured frequency and shift and change in your auric field when wearing one. And I'd just like to say, for those of us who are already spiritually engaged and working on our light and our fields, the effects are far more profound. They are amplified greatly. Mm. So that's my take on them. Mm. And I was sitting here thinking of you and I'm seeing you, Donnie, you know, with my, through my mind's eye walking through the streets of, of Tokyo and with this light of wonder scarf, we, we just received ours, Tim and I, a few days ago. So I'm getting to know, know it in, in physical still. I so love it. And I was struck by the transparency, you know, with this very high pure frequency with, with the white, white light and how it's like, it's really semi-transparent um and the how that really reflects that high pure frequency so i was seeing you walking through the streets uh, like almost half transparent as well Donnie. <laughs> so really like the lower frequencies don't even see us is, is the feeling when we are that high in our frequency so that's my reflection for that Thank and um, yes <laughs> so when you walk around and you're uh, vibrating so high you just wait for the spaceship to pick you up really that's all that is <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> that's the beacon of light there and um it seems like we slowly come to the end of our transmission today um but it is a good idea to probably repeat the transmission a few more times shared with mm -hmm. your friends you know you never know who is in need and when it's like the perfect timing they will usually get it in the perfect timing so there's usually a deeper layer to this energy work so that's what i would recommend and uh yeah we'll see you soon i guess in the uk september 7 and 8 and with tim and lovisa i'm so excited really this will be very very powerful mm -hmm really looking forward to that it's going to be a very very special gathering yes so much looking forward to it and mm -hmm. please enjoy this the energy transmission the energies of all this of the scars and that we're bringing through and that odin and the divine grandmother are bringing through through us absolutely so thank you so much thank you everyone lots of love love and blessings thank you love very much Bye-bye.